I was born on November 26, 1827 at Gorham, Maine, USA. My parents were Robert and Eunice Harmon, and they had eight children. I have a twin sister named Elizabeth, and I am the youngest. Our father is a hat maker and is hoping to find better working conditions, so he regularly takes a trip. One morning, it was Friday at 10 o'clock, after my father packed his belongings, he said goodbyes to us and went to a train station. He would be gone for weeks, and I don't know then that the next time I will be seeing him, I would be unrecognizable. I am telling this because one afternoon, while I and my sister are going home, we passed by a plaza, and we noticed a girl following behind us. She looks older than us, and she looked troubled and very angry. I didn't know she would be hitting me with a big stone. Oh no! Hello dear, I just arrived. Hello my children. Are we all here? Where is your younger sister? Isn't she supposed to be here? It wasn't my father's fault. It was the accident that changed how I look. But I'm here too, father. She can't read? She almost can't. She said she noticed the writings look differently than how she sees them before. Can she write? Her hands are trembling and I don't know if it would heal. You know exactly what this means, right? We will have to take care of her forever. She can no more go back to school. She cannot become an educated woman, nor find a husband to marry. My life changed since that day. When I was young, I used to fear the Lord so much. During our time, children are almost no different than the adults. The church has no separate room for younger children like us and a teacher to teach us about God and the Bible. All I can remember, when I was young, the church used to preach God's judgment and the hell of fire. Until one night, I am so troubled that I couldn't sleep. Just like how John Weasley would say, No mercies can enter, not even in the shadow of hellfire. And if I am not ready to be burned in the eternal fire, Oh Lord, please forgive me from all of my sins. Do not fear. Here, I give you this word. This is a symbol of your faith. Have faith in my love. So you are that little Ellen child. Tell me about your dreams and all your fears. Your experience is different compared to the other children of your age. I am sure God is preparing you for a very special work. 